friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. We're continuing on my color series where I chat about my favorite makeup products in a specific color category. In this video, I am going over purple. I have been so looking forward to doing this one. I have so many purple favorites and I'm really excited to share them with you. As always, I'm not talking about every single purple thing that exists in my collection. I really just tried to narrow it down to my top favorites, which is still an exorbitant amount. But if you think I'm forgetting something, I might still very much enjoy it um, because it exists in my collection. I just didn't deem it a top favorite and didn't want to drone on for hours and hours and hours chatting about every single thing that I own in this video. That is where the makeup collection and declutter series comes in at the end of the year. I've already gone over so many of the colors so you can check out the other videos if you are curious about them. And before we hop into this one, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok and probably YouTube shorts by the time this video goes up. And as far as my accessories go, this choker and these earrings were a gift so I don't know where they were from. This is just a Neff brand beanie and these glasses are prescription and they're from iBuyDirect. So yeah without further ado let's just hop in and chat about all of my favorite purple things. All right, so let's chat about complexion first. I do have some blushes and highlighters to share. I have one liquid blush. This one's from Rare Beauty. This is called Faith. It's like a really dark plummy purple. It's really pretty. Um, side note, I'm not really gonna be delving into mauves as much in this video just because I feel like I don't know, I wanted to talk about like purple purple, like lavender and bright purple and deep purple and plums and stuff like that. Things that are like richer, I didn't really wanna talk about mauve, so maybe I'll do a separate mauve video, maybe I won't. At the very least, we're just going over purple. This is what that one looks like though, just a really rich, delicious, plummy shade. It's so, so good. And even though I am as pale as a ghost, um, if I use a very light hand with this, it still blends out really, really beautifully. Um, I really like this one, especially in the fall and winter, absolutely. I have this single uh, from Game Beauty, it's called Noir and it's so cute. I'm actually wearing it kind of dusted along like the bridge of my nose a little bit, just a light hand of it. Honestly, I don't like wearing purple blush by itself very often. It's actually surprising that I did it just by itself today. Um, it's right there. It's very, very cute. I just find that sometimes if I go too heavy with like a lavender blush on myself, I can look a little dull, um, but I do like to play with lavender in conjunction with like a pink. I think it blends really cute together. Like I'll go in heavy with a pink and then I'll kind of blend like a purple around the edges. I think that's so cute, but I kind of just like target it like right here today just to kind of go with my eye look a little bit and I really like how it came out. In both of the Blend Bunny blush palettes, there are some cute purples. In the Bare Cheeks, we have uh, this one right here, Stripped. Again, kind of like a muted plum. It's very, very pretty. I really like these blush palettes. They're so pigmented and they blend so nicely. And then in the Juicy Cheeks palette, we have the shades of Sticky Sweet and Ripe. These ones are very purple. Like if you're a purple blush lover, these are for you, for sure. Just like a bright pop in like lavender and just like a really rich, ripe purple. It's so pretty. Calling this the Juicy Cheeks palette was so appropriately named. In the Likely Makeup Fairy Blush palette, there is my first purple blush I ever owned, um, Amethyst right here. Again, I really like playing with it in conjunction with that pink. Um, it's just so, so, so pretty, but it's a really good purple. I also like using this one as an eyeshadow, like these palettes work really good for that. This one's a little bit more blue tone, more violety. It's very pretty. I have such a distinct difference in purple blushes. I didn't realize like how many different undertones I had. In my mind, I was just like, yeah, I have a few purple blushes, but I didn't realize like the range that I had. I have a couple from Lethal as well. This one is called Aster. It came in their Wildflower collection, like their spring collection this year. Just like a really pretty, glowy, almost like violety lavender. Definitely leans a little on the cool tone side. It's so pretty. Again, really like it in conjunction with that pink specifically. And I also have this one, Cryostasis. This came out with the Teresa's Dead collection and it's so, so cute. They're similar. I feel like it's a little cooler toned than the other glowy purple, but I really like them both. They're super, super pretty. I just love that glowy formula. It blends so easy on the skin and they're so, so cool. And now moving on to highlighter. Uh, first I have this one. This is Lavender Moon from Odin's Eye. One of my favorites. This is my favorite Odin's Eye highlighter. It's just so wet and glossy looking. It's not like, vibrant purple, but it does have kind of that lavender undertone to it, and it's so good. Moon Cruiser from Kaleidos. This is one that I wasn't sure if I was gonna talk about it in the last one, which was the blue one, or if I wanted to talk about it in this one, because it kind of does a blue-purple shift, but 
I figured at the time I had so many blue things to talk about. It's this one right here that I would talk about it in this video. Also this one from Unearthly, this is Spectre. It's kind of falling apart a little bit. Um, this one's like pinky purple. It's very, very pretty right there. So you can kind of see the differences between like one shifts like blue purple, one shifts more like pinky purple. They're all so, so pretty though. And I love that kind of translucent base that they all have. In the BH Cosmetics Aspen Highlight Palette, there's a very vibrant purple one right here, Bunny Slope. This one's a little bit of a like cool toned, lavendery highlight. It's super pretty. In the Blend Bunny Noctilucent Highlight Palette, it might be a stretch calling this purple, honestly, but we're gonna do it anyways. Um, far out, it's kind of like a pinky purple shift. It's like kind of both, and I figured it leaned a little more purple than it did pink for me. So I figured I'd talk about it in this video rather than waiting for the pink video. Oh yeah, that flows really good with all of these. Again, I have so many different like, like shifts and undertones with these, I love that. Last but not least, I have Lollipop Love from Bitter Lace Beauty. This one, it's kind of like a blue-purple combination. Again, it was hard to decide. Should I talk about it in this video? Should I talk about it in the blue video? I don't think I talked about it in the blue video. Maybe I did and I'm talking about it again. But it does kind of both. It does kind of a bluey purple situation. And I just love, they're so cute. Moving into eyeshadow now, I don't even know how many palettes I have, like 35 or 40. I have so many palettes next to me. It was honestly really hard to narrow this down just because I have so many favorite purples. So we're just gonna dive in, no particular order. I guess we'll just start with what I'm wearing right now because it's on the top. I used my Glaminatrix uh, Sugar and Spice palette and the two purples at the bottom are so super cute. I love the shimmer one specifically. It looks like it's glowing. Honestly, this is like my favorite part of the palette is that purple shimmer right there. There they are right there. That purple shimmer is just everything. So cute. I mean, the lavender matte's cute too, but the purple shimmer, that's, that's the star of the show right there. In my three Cosmic Brushes palettes, there are lovely purples in all of them, so I had to talk about them all. Also, again, side note, um, the Periwinkle Realm, some of them I talked about in the blue video, some of them I'll talk about in this video. There might be some crossover because I'm only a human being. I can only remember what I talked about so much. <laughs> so there might be some crossover because Periwinkle was one that I didn't want to do a separate video on, but it might be in this one. Um, so Awake, I think, is one of the ones I didn't talk about last time. And I also want to talk about Pixie and this one and this one. So many cute colors. I love Cosmic Brushes. The mattes blend so good. It's these four right there. They're so pretty and the shimmers are so glossy looking on the lid. In the Delicious Delights palette, I want to talk about these three. Actually, these four. I'll do that one as well. Right there underneath, kind of a cute combo of lavenders mixed with like warmer toned berry purples. It's very cute. Also in the Muse palette, um, let's talk about those two right there. Right here. I feel like they just have such a good glow to them. They're so pretty. In my Lunar Beauty Moon Spell, there are some delicious purples, like basically this whole top row. I'm so sad that like Prue is like gone. I've like completely destroyed it. It's like crumbled away and dusted away. And unfortunately this is not available anymore, so I'll never get it again. Trying to already conserve space because I know there's going to be so much, so I put them kind of over here. Side of my hand over there. Super cute. Also in the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Volume 2. Uh, side note, I want a Moon Spell Volume 3. Oh my gosh, there's so many good purples in here. Let's see, we could do this one, maybe this one, and let's do this one, and we'll stop there. Right there. Oops, drew another swatch. <laughs> Are you more of a like cool toned violety purple person, or do you like more of the warmer, plummy berry purples more? For me, it does depend a little bit on the season. As a general rule, I'm probably more of the violety cool tone purples. But in the winter especially, I love like a rich berry toned, like plummy purple. I think that warmth is so good. In the Beauty Bay Midnight palette, uh, this is just a purple dream. Um, we're gonna, I don't wanna talk about all of these. Let's, let's just do the shimmers. Honestly, the shimmers are my favorite part of this palette anyway. Right there, look how cute, so glossy. Also in the Beauty Bay Age of Opulence palette, there are also some delicious purples in here. Um, I guess we can talk about like these four. I think that'll be a, a good place to go. This palette was so good. So it's those two and those two super rich. I wish this palette was still available. I'm pretty sure it was limited edition, but it's so good. From Give Me Glow in the Pastel Dreams palette, if you need some cute pastel purples, those are the ones for you. Super rich and metallic and lovely and amazing and all the good things. I'm getting purple everywhere. I mean, are we surprised? Also in the Give Me Glow Bad Witch Club palette, 
I did talk about these like bluey periwinkles in the blue video, but we're gonna talk about all four of those purples for this one. Right there, super, super cute. Very rich, yummy love. Moving on to Lethal Cosmetics, the Night Flower Palette. I, oh, I don't even know. Again, there's so many good ones. I wanna talk about these two, I think. We can do this one as well. Put them right here, kind of in that top corner of my hand. I love Lethal's formulas. Also from Lethal in the Wildflower Palette, this came out in that same collection with that lavender blush I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna talk about this one. I don't think I talked about that one in the blue video. We can do this one as well. It's like a lavender dream. Look at that little trio. It's so cute and that like multi chromey shifty purple, silvery gold, it's so good. Moving on to Blend Benny, the Lure palette has delicious purples, this whole row right there. Honestly, there's good purples and I'm pretty sure like almost every Blend Bunny palette, if not every Blend Bunny palette, but again, I did try to narrow it down a little bit. Put those right there at the corner of my wrist. The Surge palette, this has like the most pop in neon purple. I love, I wanna talk about that one specifically and then also like these two right there super vibrant i just love that neony purple i don't have too many things in my collection like that ah the primal palette this is unfortunately not available anymore but this was like such a top tier palette for like these indigo purpley shades but we're just gonna go down the line here like the transition between like warmth to cool tones with those four it's so pretty last from blend bunny in the sugar and grunge palette i love the purples in here as well these three and that purple shimmer all right they kind of scoop right there so pretty. From Bella Beauty Bar in the Strange and Unusual palette, I really like the shimmers in this tombstone as well. The mattes have been stepped up from this brand. I feel like in that palette, they aren't my absolute favorite now that I know what they're capable of, um, but the shimmers are still too good. They're so sparkly and amazing. In the Pastel Garden palette, this formula has a really good matte formula. Like This is kind of where I saw things get stepped up. Oh, I don't even know what to talk about. This is tough. Let's do these four right there. Right here, kind of all across the bottom there. So shiny and pretty. I'm loving this so much already. This makes me really happy. <laughs> Moving on to another unfortunately discontinued favorite. Maybe this one's still around. I know they've been like getting rid of all of their futurism palettes, but this is the Kaleidos Lunar Lavender. This is such a favorite of mine. I wanna talk about all four of those. I'm just, I'm always gonna be better that they are getting rid of the futurisms, like that they've announced that they've done away with all of them. I'm trailing down right there. It just breaks my heart because they were so good and just beautiful. Love the packaging. I got so excited about the little themes that they would do, and it's the end of an era. The Melt Cosmetics Cheese and Parties palette, if you need warm-toned, berry-toned grunginess, that is this one. Oh, I don't even know what to swatch. Let's do this shimmer, let's do this one, this one, and this one. Kind of right there, just really dark, warm, grungy purples. I love this palette. From Gourmet Girls, their new Nightshade palette is just riddled with amazing purples. Like, I just can't. Let's see, I wanna do Hypnotic, Poisonous, Night Fury, Dream Shade. We're gonna come back for more. Do Night Shade and Woody as well. This whole line across the bottom, the shimmers are so rich and beautiful. I love this palette. Also from the Spooked palette, also from Gourmet Girls and Doodles by The Bunny, um, this purple matte and this purple shimmer, so good. Plopped those right there over top. So cute. From Ace Beauté, the Fleur palette. This is very much a purple situation. I'm gonna do these three shimmers and then also that matte in the middle. I don't know why I'm shocked that I'm already running out of space. <laughs> I did these four right there. Also the Aura palette from Ace Beauté has amazing purples. Right here, we'll talk about this, 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 and this. Put those right there. Shroud Cosmetics, so many good purples from Shroud. Wow, I didn't realize I grabbed so many. Um, the Moonfall palette to start with, uh, we have Folklore and Devotion right there those two on the bottom. From my collabs with Shroud, the Halloween and it's freaking bats. I have some, if I do say so myself, amazing purples. Um, in Halloween, we have Ghastly and Black Flame. Ghastly's right there, Black Flame's right there. It's like a multi-chrome with like a black base and it kind of shifts green as well. It's so cool. And then in my bats palette, I did talk about Spooky in the blue video, but I'm gonna talk about Apparition, Zero, and Dairy now. Oh, goodness, right there. Super rich, deep purple, and then delicious duochrome shades. I am so running out of space. In both of the Creepy Cute palettes, in Creepy Cute, we have Planchettes. And in the Creepy Cute 2, we have Paws Off. 
those right there, super cute lavenders. And finally from Shroud, the Peaches and Dreams. This is their newest palette and I love this matte right here. Velveteen and this Shimmer Whimsy. These shimmers are so extra sparkly. I love just seeing her shimmers get better and better every single time right here. Oh, it's so pretty. From Glam Light in the Chucky palette, there are some really rich, similar to the She's and Parties from Melt. Um, I wanna talk about these three right there. Just rich, grungy, dark, warm right there. Just all the richness, all the yumminess. In the ColourPop All Amethyst palette, which was very divided. Some people hated this. I personally really enjoyed it. I thought it was really cute. Um, I thought we could talk about the three on the bottom specifically, and then also that lavender. It's a little bit more of like a dusty purple kind of vibe, and I really liked that about it. I thought it was really cool. From Odin's Eye in my collab with Odin's Eye, the Planet Spirit palette, I have my shades Pride and Kindred, a really warm, like fuchsia -y purple, and then a really pretty duochrome kind of cooler tone purple. The Flora Story, which was between Makeup Just for Fun and Odin's Eye, I wanna talk about this one, this one, and this one, right here at the bottom. The Giant Wolves palette. I'm gonna talk about this shimmer, this matte. We could do this one as well. Those three are like right there. Also in the Christmas Eve palette, I know that everyone wants this one to come back. I hope they do bring it back one day. I don't think they will though. Thought we could talk about Wonderland and Gorgeous. This really is a great palette. Like aside from my own personal collab, obviously, um, this is definitely my favorite one they've done. Right there, just really pretty shifty, magical iridescent purples. And finally, last but not least, the Unearthly Cosmetics Dead of Night. Unearthly's released lots of really good purples, don't get me wrong, but this is the palette for purple in my opinion. Now these two right here and also these two. Right there at the bottom. So good and I am absolutely covered in purple. So I'm gonna wipe this off and then we will do the single shadows that I have. I've been sitting here talking and talking, but I wasn't recording. So I guess we need to talk about my single shadows again. <laughs> okay, well, from Terra Moons, we have Chasing Comets and UFO. That's these two right here. They're so pretty. Chasing Comets specifically is one of my favorites. It's like a top favorite shadow of mine. The next three are Odin's Eye. We have Chloe, Emily, and Stella. And those are right next door. Chloe, Emily, and Stella. Super sparkly and lovely. Next from Gavisi, we have Hypnotic and NYC. Those two are right here. Hypnotic and NYC. They're so shiny and special. This one's from Chloe. Leona. It's called Cerise. It's a little bit more of like a warm toned, multi chromey situation. And the last of these are from Lethal. We have Exosphere, Mercury, and Supernova. Those are right here. Exosphere, Mercury, Supernova. Mercury is one of their new like pure metals, shiny metallic situations. And the other two are multi chromes. And then this cutie right here, this is the loose shadow from Unearthly. It's called Ghost. It's always so hard to get these to translate on camera as cool as they are in real life. They're so glowy, it has such a richness to it. It dusts on beautifully on the eyes. It makes a great face highlight if you want something kind of weird. Pictures and video never do those loose shadows justice. And then I also had this liquid shadow from Menagerie. This one's called Pounce. It's kind of pinky purple. Wasn't quite sure where I was gonna talk about this in this video or the pink one, but decided to put it in this one and it's right there. I just felt like that kind of purpliness peeks through pretty strong, so I figured I could throw it in this video. And now, moving on to liners, I have five from Gavisi to talk about. I'm not gonna swatch these just because they look exactly like they look in the pan, they're just water activated. You mix a little bit of water with your brush and then you're good to go. This one is Venus. This is like a duochrome purpley greeny kind of one. This one is Silk Lavender. It's kind of like a metallic bright lavender. This one is Tie Dye. It's like a super vibrant warm purple. And then I have these two pastel -y ones. This one is Gelato, like a lavender. And then Creamsicle is like more of a cool toned lavender. Like you can see the differences there. Honestly, I may have talked about this in the blue video, but I think I was trying to save it for this one because it does lean a little more on the cool tone purple side than the blue side for me personally. And then I also have some pencils. Uh, most are ColourPop, but I also have this one from Odin's Eye, which I'm wearing in my waterline today. Um, it's the lavender pencil right there. Exactly what you expect it to be, it's lavender. I also have this lavender one from ColourPop. This one is Amethyst Hour. This one's a little bit warmer in comparison. Next is Plum Smash, again, a warmer, plummy purple. This next one is Piggy Bank. 
Also a little bit warmer, but more vibrant than the Plum Smash one. This is one of my favorites. I don't think it exists anymore because it was from the first Hocus Pocus collection, but it's like one of my most used trick or treat right there. Just like a really pretty, subtly metallic, kind of dusty, darker purple. Charmer right here is also kind of like a darker, more dusty purple. I think this one's called Visuals. The name is like totally rubbed off, but I'm pretty sure it's called Visuals. It's like a really vibrant purple with subtle gold sparkles in it. It's really pretty. I reach for that one a lot too. Finally, last but not least, we have lips. I have glosses, I have liquid lipsticks. I have a lot more than I thought I did actually. And again, I am trying to avoid mauve. Like I didn't want things that were leaning borderline neutral. I wanted things that looked purple. So let's get into it. Let's do gloss first. Um, this one's from Melt. This is called Attitude. It's from their Bad Zodiac collection last year. This one's kind of like pinky purple. Again, I wasn't really sure where I was gonna put this one, if it was gonna be in this video or the next one, but I figured I'd throw it in the purple video. I still have eyeliner all over me. What am I doing? Do I even know what I'm doing? This is the one I'm wearing today. It's from Unearthly, it's called Glint. I have it on top of a lip liner, obviously, but it's a really pretty shifty purple, sparkly situation. This one's a long time favorite of mine. This is Bloom from Sugar Pill. I've loved this for years. It's beautiful. I love the formula. It's so slippery and glidey. I love that soft, like purpley blueiness. It's so cute. This one is from Nomad Cosmetics. What are you called? Fée de Provence. It's very cute. It came in there like France collection, I think earlier this year in the spring, if I'm not mistaken, but it's super rich, super pretty. Maybe it came out last year. I have like no concept of time, my goodness, um, but super rich and vibrant. I have this lip oil from Blend Bunny. It's it's sheer, like it's a lip oil. It's not gonna have as much pigment. Um, it's called Ripe. It smells, it smells so grapey. It's delicious, um, but it still has a nice like kind of purple tint to it. So I figured we'd talk about it in this video. If you want like a little sheer purple moment, that's the one. I also have these two from Lawless. This one is called Violet Bloom. Again, these are also fairly sheer when they're actually on the lips. Watched out, that one looks a lot more vibrant, but it's a little more sheer than that when it's actually applied. And then we have this one, Lavender Sorbet. Honestly, I probably could have skipped talking about this one. This is borderline on the, the neutral mauve side of things, but you know what? It's already done. What's done is done. And now liquid lipsticks. Uh, let's start with Kaleidos. I have this one called Siren. I actually wore this yesterday. I love this one. Like a really rich, super cool tone purple. This one is Queen of the Night. This one is also a beautiful purple, but it leans a little more warm tone. So I like that we have kind of the two different options from Kaleidos with like the same level of depth. From Black Moon, we have Purgatory. This has also been a long time favorite of mine. This is such a good purple liquid lip. It's like almost black. It's so dark and amazing. This one from Unearthly, this one is called Angela. It's a really pretty kind of darker, dusty muted purple. It's really pretty. I have multiple from Menagerie. First is Starfish. This is a very like vibrant, warm purple liquid lipstick. It's so cute. It's like such a fun statement lip too. It's very playful and it's fun. I also have a few more. These are in the older packaging though. This one is Mirabelle right there. Very cooler toned purple, especially compared to Starfish. Honestly, it's a pretty neutral purple if I had to say. You'll see in a second. This Hyacinth here is very cool toned. So you can kind of see the range there. It's like, this is like a very neutral purple. This one's super warm and this one's super cool. And then I also have Luna, which is just kind of more of a a dusty purple, very, very pretty. Love that kind of color. I went through a phase where like, I pretty much only wore that color of lipstick for a long time. Similar to that one, we have Hydra from Lethal. This came out with their Spring Wildflower collection as well. Another one of those more muted, dusty purples, super cute. And last but not least, we have Poser from Melt Cosmetics. I think this is also, yeah, this is like a darker kind of, purple as well. It's super pretty. Um, and now I'm really, really sick of the word purple. Uh, I, I need to clean myself up now. Thank you so much for watching my video, chatting about my favorite purple things. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you love purple makeup too? Do you have a preference? Like what are your favorite tones? What are your favorite products? Do you love any of these as much as I do? Feel free to list your favorites down below. I would love to read them. If you made it to the end of this video, leave some purple emojis, obviously. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Baddie Bean fam. I'm Baddie Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, I'm posting most days here as well. Also, feel free to join my channel membership. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only get ready with me once a month. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.